Arman Soldin, Shireen Abu Akhla, killed while reporting from war zones. Daphne Caruana Galizia, Anna Politskovskia, Hamal Khashoggi, Jan Kuciak, murdered for being inconvenient. Threats, violence, arbitrary arrests are every day undermining the work of the press and freedom of expression. The situation is bad everywhere. Uh, because the new types of crimes, particularly the digital crimes, they are not uh, circumscribed to a particular region or a particular country. We found that 85%, 85% of the world's population has experienced a downsize in their freedom of expression in the last five years. According to the latest UNESCO report on the safety of journalists, in 2021, 36% of those killed lost their lives in war zones the remaining 64 in places that were supposed to be safer. Mexico, China, Russia and Saudi Arabia are all known to be hostile towards the free press, but even in Europe there are threats. On voit que les Balkans toquent à la porte de l'Union européenne, avec pourtant une situation euh, qui est assez désastreuse en matière de liberté de la presse. La désinformation russe s'est implantée euh, en Serbie. Il faut que ces pays, euh, qui vont euh, peut-être faire partie de l'élargissement, n'abritent pas des laboratoires de désinformation, ne protègent pas euh, des groupes mafieux ou des groupes criminels qui attaquent les journalistes. On World Press Freedom Day earlier this month, the Council of Europe urged governments to make the protection of journalism a political priority, to protect the most valuable asset where it exists, democracy.